Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Right now we're going to cross the Atlantic with our Star of the Month, Fred Astaire, for a pair of films set in England. To many people, when you mention the name Fred Astaire, one of the defining images of Fred is him defying gravity as he dances up and down the walls of a room, then across the ceiling to the tune of a Johnny song, You're All the World to Me. Well, up next we have the movie in which Fred dances up and down those walls. It's Royal Wedding from MGM in 1951, a film that teams Fred with a great friend of ours here at TCM, Jane Powell. Also in the cast, Peter Lawford and the daughter of Winston Churchill, Sarah Churchill. Now, the movie is about an American brother and sister dance team who take their act to England at the time of the royal wedding, when the future Queen Elizabeth married Prince Philip, and both the brother and sister dance team each fall in love with Brits. It's a film that Fred was initially supposed to do with June Allison, till June became pregnant and reluctantly had to drop out. Then Judy Garland was set to do it with Fred, but she was having one of her rocky periods and was ultimately fired from the MGM Studios. So the role went to Jane Powell, which came as a bit of a shock to everybody because Jane was well established as a great singer, not as a dancer. Also, she was 22, Fred was 51, which made him a bit old to logically be her brother. That's almost a 30 year age difference. Anyway, Jane came in, worked like a trooper and knocked everybody for a loop. Only the year before, she'd been playing a lovesick juvenile in musicals such as Nancy Goes to Rio and Two Weeks with Love. But here she was suddenly all grown up holding her own with Fred Astaire and introducing the great Alan J. Lerner ballad, Too Late Now. The public was surprised and delighted. From 1951, what the cast includes two Keenan wins and direction by Stanley Donnan. Here's Royal Wedding. <laughs> 